Welcome to our YouTube channel where wisdom meets inspiration. In this channel, we share valuable insights to help you become the best version of yourself. Our content is designed to uplift your spirit and enrich your life. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay connected with this incredible journey. Click the subscribe button below. One must first become poised in oneself first. If possible, in the capital self. If not, at least as an autonomous, responsible, grown-up person. Sri Ramakrishna defined a human being, Manush. You understand the word Manush in Bengali and many in, in Hindi also, uh, Manush. But he would play on words. Manush means a human being. But he would play on words. He said, Manush is Manush. Man means your own dignity. Hush means awareness. And he didn't define it any further. It can extend from once a very common sense understanding. I am an autonomous human being. I have the right to say no. If somebody asks, you have the right. You have no obligation to say yes. You have the right to say no. If it is for your own good and if so the good of the other, have the right to say no. Also, I heard somewhere a very wise thing. It was a, of all people, a hero in uh, USA, in California, Elon Musk. <laughs> ah. And spiritual lessons from Elon Musk and many others, lessons from billionaires. This person, she's a life coach or something. She said, notice Elon Musk and many other billionaires. They're very good at saying no. They're very good at saying no. Sometimes it can be utterly selfish. I will not give you my time. I will not give you my energy. I will not give you my appreciation or approval. I will certainly not give you my money. No, 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 no. Why are they so good at saying no? And why are we not so good at saying no? And the answer was something worth while listening for our spiritual seekers. Us, like I also felt, um, oh, the answer is this. Because they have a shining yes inside them. It could be X or Tesla or something. Something that they're building, they're so passionate about, so committed to. It could be just being a billionaire and having more money. Whatever it is, it's a shining yes. And so they are tremendously protective about that. That enables them to say no very easily to anything that does not go there. But if you, if you speak to that person's self-interest, you'll always get a yes. Ah, yes, I'll give you time, energy, appreciation, approval, money. I'll flood you with money if you can speak to my yes. So in order to be dignified and stand on one's own feet in a very day-to-day -day thing, not, not just the highest spiritual thing, one must have, what's my yes? What do I need to protect in my life? For a spiritual seeker, it's spiritual life. Sri so Ramakrishna used to say, if you step on the tail of a cobra, it's going to immediately. And that's true of all committed spiritual seekers. No compromise there. In rest of the things, as the Chinese saying goes, flow like water, stand like a rock. In most things in life, flow like water. But in this, yes, which is your shining yes, which you need to protect, stand like a rock. They can do it for money. They can do it for power. Yeah. Why can't we do it for God realization? Become Swami Vivekananda's messenger. Share the video with three of your friends.